Let me tell you something a little bit about confidence because this is something that a lot of people get wrong, okay? When I was really little, when I was like back in ninth grade, just a little kid, I would always look at the class clown and I would always think, damn, if only I had that confidence. And I would like look at the look at the popular kids and I'd be like, damn, if only I had that kind of confidence. All the people who are faking their own personality, they're not confident whatsoever, they're, they're the most insecure people that you will meet. Now, it might not be with popular kids, right? Like a lot of popular kids are just naturally outgoing. They, they aren't faking anything, right? But if we, we look at that guy, the class clown, who does every single action just for attention, that is the most insecure kid that you will meet. Okay, he is just as insecure as the anime kid, the weeb, the weird-ass weeb sitting over there reading his manga books. And the reason for that primarily is because I don't think that confidence is you being outgoing or you keeping inside. It's the ability of you to actually express your own true self. If some like, if some kids were watching this video from my school or something and they saw how I acted in person, they would be like, oh, look, you're, you're absolutely lying. You're not confident at all because I'm not one of these fucking dipshit class clowns or some of these bitches who are like, just like acting like bitches. Okay, I'm not, I'm not that guy who's in the class always trying to get a laugh out of everyone. I'm not that guy walking up to every single person that I meet because I am not that kind of person. Okay, I am reserved and when I speak, I speak with meaning. Okay, my words actually have value unlike yours who no one literally pays attention to whatever you talk about and everyone just talks over you every time you start talking. Why is that? Because no one fucking values you. No one values your words. And you bet that that used to happen to me. And sometimes it still does, but I still take in control of the situation using certain tactics. But I think that a primary key component of having confidence is learning how to speak. You need to learn how to speak, dude. Speak to a, speak to a mirror, speak to a camera as I'm doing in this video. My confidence has increased so much since my first video to this video because I've actually learned how to never break silence and how to always have a topic to speak about. And it's just helped so much. And you can probably imagine how much it helps. The ability to not really have silence frequently and the ability to always keep going, keep going in a conversation, letting it flow. And that's that it's so powerful to be able to speak like this. And it's so powerful to be able to speak confidently, effectively, and with precision. Be articulate, learn it, learn the skill of being articulate. Because if I ever cold approach a single person at the beginning of my YouTube channel, I would be incredibly nervous. Why is that? Because I would be nervous to speak. You know, I'd be nervous if I ran out of shit to say, if I said something wrong. But now that I actually learned how to speak, now that I can actually talk to a camera for a long ass time, I don't know how long this video is going to turn out as, maybe probably like around 10 minutes. Once I'm able to do that, I mean, as you can probably think, it's you're unbreakable, right? When you can talk to an, an, an inanimate object, like a mirror, like a camera, you best believe that when you're actually talking to a person in real life, an actual other human being, you're going to be really good at speaking and you're really going to be able to communicate effectively. Now, if, if you want, if you want, you can go back to my very first video, probably around 140 days ago, depends on how many videos are on this YouTube channel. And you'll see the difference, the difference in confidence. You'll see the difference in the quality of the speaking. You'll see a difference in me losing my train of thought all the time. I was speaking in a higher voice because of like all the coping mechanisms from all the stress that I had at the time. All this stuff, right? All this stuff. And I've increased it so much through learning how to speak. So let me tell you how to actually become yourself, right? Because many people are very nervous to become yourself. And by becoming yourself, I do not mean projecting it onto every person, like walking up to every person and saying, hey, this is my personality. No, don't do that. What is your personality? Do, are you actually reserved? Are you actually, or are you actually just like nervous to go up to people and talk to people? Do you not have any friends? And you're not okay with it. Don't try and talk yourself out of the fact that you want friends, dude. Fuck all the Sigma TikTokers trying to get you to be like, oh yeah, it's completely fine to be alone because they're coping with their social anxiety. Okay, you need to think about what you 
actually want to do? Do you want to be that social guy? Do you want, are, are you at heart, at heart, not, not exactly what you want to be? If you actually look inside, if you look into your core, were you always that kind of kid when you were a little kid and you didn't have a care in the world? Were you that kind of kid who was out there, who was incredibly extroverted, or were you a bit enclosed? Were you kind of reserved? What kind of person were you? Because in this day and age, a lot of us value extroversion, right? We value the, the fact that someone is able to t go up and talk to other people, which you should be able to do, right? It's a very valuable skill. But what I'm saying is that I'm you, not everyone is going to be that kind of guy, the kind of class clown, the kind of popular kid. Some people are not built to say it. When I am in class, I am listening to the teacher with my full intent because I know that after school, I'm going to have to grind and work on this YouTube channel and go to martial arts, do sports, work out, all that kind of stuff. That's me showing my true self. Why? Because it's showing my true motivation. It's tr showing my true dedication. And if I truly wanted to fit in, I would be, you know, probably talking to many people. I would be on my phone all the time. But no, I whip out a fucking self-improvement YouTube book like a weirdo. And I start reading it. Why? Because I'm going to be myself. If people want to be around me, they will be around me. If they don't want to be around me, they won't be around me. Think of yourself as the prize. Now that sounds incredibly narcissistic, right? But it works. When you're like, it, when someone, when some like douchebag or something says, I don't want to be around you anymore. Okay, you're lost. You're not around me anymore. That is your loss. That's it. Okay, you can split away from me if you want. You're going to be losing something. You're going to be losing something fucking incredible. Now, I said in one of my previous videos, the importance of having an ego. Yes, you need an ego. You need to think of yourself highly. In this day and age, all of us are demonizing the idea of ego. We're all demonizing the idea of having confidence, self-esteem. You shouldn't have any self-esteem. You should only care about other people and just let them run over you in their dump truck. No. What you should be doing is that you should be respecting yourself, but also others. But the true respecting of others, do not focus on it until you can respect yourself. Do not focus on all like trying to get people to like you when you haven't even done anything to correct your own self. When you haven't even worked on any kind of as wishy-washy as it sounds self-love. You have not worked on any of that stuff and you have none of that stuff. And a lot of the reason why you can't walk up to these kinds of people is because of your self-esteem, your lack of self-esteem, feeling like you weren't good enough. All those days when you were a little kid and people rejected you, maybe there's some trauma with your parents, maybe there's some trauma w with other people, those bullies making fun of you, something like that. It's usually because of those things we don't walk up to other people, because of our past and how we actually view ourselves. How do you view yourself? Do you view yourself as a social butterfly? As a, an incredibly outgoing person, do you view yourself as an extreme introvert? Who do you want to become? And who do you know that you want to become at the deepest of your soul? Understand that and try to work on yourself to get there. If try to work on your self-esteem so that you can get there and you can actually act like yourself instead of acting like a fucking monkey in order to stay in these certain social circles. I think that the most annoying thing ever is people faking themselves to stay in social circles. I watched a play the other day. It was kind of dog water, honestly. It had a shit ton of like feminist talk and shit, but it was okay. It was entertaining. I'm not going to let political people's political views to mess up my liking of the play. It was called Mean Girls. <laughs> you, <laughs> you can probably hear that it's feminist, but uh, yeah, it, it was pretty entertaining, but it essentially the entire movie takes place in high school and there's like this girl from Africa or something who is a foreign exchange student and she has to get used to the new culture of high school everyone being on their phones everyone partying and stuff and there's these girls at the top you know the top echelons of social status and the girl really wants to get there and then in the process of trying to get there she loses her true self and people actually start to resent her, even though she's more popular, even though everyone's like, man, I wish that I could be her. She keeps resenting her true self, her true personality, her true characteristics of African descent, you know, not actually liking 
any of this social media bullshit, not actually, you know, wanting to go up in the social hierarchy. She just does it and then she loses herself. And then in the end, they all start dancing and they're like, yeah, we should be ourselves, yada, yada, yada. We're all boss bitches. Didn't like that part. It was kind of weird, but I did like the part where she actually started losing herself because she was trying to become something that she never wanted to become. She was trying to become something that she didn't actually want to become. She didn't look inside of herself and think, oh yeah, this is something that I actually want. Well, she did. That's exactly what happened. Well, yeah, yeah. She she didn't look inside herself and thought, this is not what I actually want. This uh, this social status thing, I don't even give a shit about any of these people. I'm just trying to fit in. She didn't look inside of herself and think that. Instead, she acted on her primal urges and she tried going up the social hierarchy and people started disliking her and she didn't, she started to hate herself. All of this bad shit. And that's exactly what happens. You know, I would far rather be a reserved introvert. I, I hate the term introvert because most people use it as cope for their social anxiety. I mean, when I say that I am a quiet person, it's talked to, it's seen as like, oh yeah, I'm not confident. I'm not this, I'm not that. Doug, I have cold approached many people. I, I can literally walk up to anybody and start a conversation. I've done it multiple times in the past. I can be a quiet person and still be confident. Because at my core, I do not tell, I show. I show, I don't tell. I show people my personality through me working hard on my computer every single day in class, through me reading books, through me always being on my phone, not on social media, but working on scripts, working on different Google Docs, working on creative projects where I write stories, all these different things. People can see my personality through what I show, not what I tell. And the kind of people who approach me, great, they're getting the prize. You understand now? Increase your self-esteem. Increase your ability to speak. Increase your self-esteem through doing great habits and through affirmations, maybe even visualizations, thinking highly of yourself and believing that you think highly of yourself. And you will get to your dream result. And many people don't know what their dream result is, right? Because this entire time you've been thinking about high, climbing the ranks, the echelons of social status. But you've never actually delved into yourself and thought, what is the truest to you? All these ones that other people have placed on you, they might all be fake. You know, the popularity, you, you wanting to become the class clown, getting all this attention from people you don't even care about. Maybe this wasn't the thing that you wanted this entire time. Reflect on that. If you like this video, my channel name is him, not because I'm him, but because we're all striving to be him, right? And hope I can help you on that journey just as, I did today, just as I did today. So if you like that message, then do subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.